everyone, it's your girl Seppy J. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time coming since I've been wanting to film a YouTube video and I'm so excited to film this video. <sighs> Judging by the title, you already know what we're going to be talking about. But if you follow me on Instagram, you guys have not been missing out at all because you do know that your girl actually posts content on Instagram pretty much on the regular. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram to catch me on the regular. And at the same time, from my Instagram, you will see that there's a link. That link will link you up to my blog where I actually post articles for you guys to learn a little bit more about me and then get to know why I do what I do. Okay? So be sure to follow me on my blog and then see my articles as well. I'm going to try to post as many articles as possible. In today's video, we're going to be doing something completely different. I'm not going to be talking about makeup. I'm actually going to be doing a try-on haul. So we're going to be going back to why I came on YouTube in the first place. I started doing YouTube by doing try-on hauls. And I hope that you guys will enjoy this one because I did a huge shopping spree on Abercrombie. Okay, I'm going to be talking to you guys about style, about what I picked, why I picked it. And then also to try them on and let you guys see them on me. And then the quality, which is all that good jazz that everybody wants to hear about. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then let's get started into the first outfit. This is for my day one. Don't forget the ones I made, yeah. Deep side sweating out, flavor. This is for my day one, day one. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was this actual jogger pants that I ordered. Nowadays, I like to wear things for comfort, okay? Comfort over anything is my thing, is my go-to. Whether I'm traveling or I'm going to the groceries, anything that I can wear with sneakers, girl, I will put my hands on it. These jogger pants are kind of like an oatmeal slash, it has like a little bit of gray, tints of gray here and there that are like whooshing through the pants. Honestly, not everybody will go for white. Some people are shy away from white. Some people like black. Some people like navy blues. I even saw, I believe I saw maroon colors. I saw purples. I saw pinks. This I like to pair up with a turtleneck and a coat. So I also picked out a coat from Abercrombie and this is a plaid jacket. And it's a long trench coat. I like the lining inside, it's kind of like a silk soft material. I really like the fact that there's buttons here that you can attach it to so you can open and close the coat. And again, the sizing of this coat, let me open it for you so that you can actually see the pattern on it. The quality is on point. Okay, moving on to the second outfit. For outfit number two, I'm incorporating sneakers for this one. So I decided to purchase a sweater that actually has a printed floral arrangement on there. I'm not sure how they did this because it actually looks a part of the sweater rather it being plastered onto the sweater. And sometimes when I've purchased printed sweaters, I'm always like worried about washing it too much because I feel like the print is actually gonna wear off really easily. But I feel like this sweater is perfect because of the way that it's printed. And then I also appreciated this triangle type of design that they put in the front of the sweater because it actually adds a little bit more depth to the sweater and it makes it look quite unique itself. And in terms of quality and thickness, it's actually a pretty thick sweater. You can't go wrong with this sweater. So I decided to pair it up with this pleather pants that I already have at home. I saw it in the picture and I like the way that they put it with pleather pants and some sneakers. And I decided to also purchase a teddy bear coat to wear over it. And this teddy bear coat is actually super nice. I like the camo type of color that it has on it. It's super textured. The lining is beautiful. Again, it's kind of like this silk golden material. The seams are perfect. There are no strings. There's no imperfection in the seams whatsoever. This is in a size extra small in case you guys were wondering. I really like the buttons that they put on there. It really reminds me of a teddy bear. The only thing that I'm gonna say about this coat is I wish that it was actually a little bit thicker. I own three teddy bear coats myself. I'm a lover of teddy coats. 
and I want to wear them even on a cold day so therefore having that thickness will definitely help in these brutal Canadian cold weathers. You can't go wrong with a teddy bear coat guys so definitely purchase this teddy coat. If you are a person that's not afraid of the cold this may be the perfect teddy bear coat for yourself. For the third outfit, I purchased this turtleneck. It's actually kind of like a wool material, but it's not fully wool because wool, it tends to be much more rougher into texture. This one is super lightweight and it's soft. It's so soft. The best part about this turtleneck is this split in the back. Like it's super cute and I love pairing it up with this leather skirt and a nice pair of heels and what a great way to prevent the cold from actually blowing in your face and hitting your neck. Unfortunately, the skirt that you guys see in the video is not one from Abercrombie. I actually did order one from Abercrombie, but unfortunately, that was one of the notifications that I got in my email saying that I'm not going to get the skirt that I wanted. But I'm going to link below the actual skirt that I wanted just so that you guys can get your own experience and perhaps your size may be available. Mine ran out. Bad luck for me. Ooh, take it back to when nobody used to know me. Let's take For this next outfit guys, I was living for the color of this dress. I don't own any dresses this color and the color was so interesting. I, When I saw it on the model, I was immediately drawn to it. I'm like, I need to have this dress. I mean, look at it. This rich copper tone. Just look at it against my skin tone. Like, isn't it nice? It's beautiful. So. This dress is super, super cute. I know it looks really short on camera. I'm looking at it right now and showing you guys. And I'm like, dang, this looks like short. But when you actually put it on, it fits nicely. It doesn't fit short at all. The straps are adjustable, which you can always appreciate. Make it longer. For me, I did not have to adjust anything um, at all. It actually fits perfectly. And all you have to do is to tie up this skirt around your waistline and the tie is actually perfect, makes it look seamless and it actually gives your body shape, which I love about this dress. And it's a v-neck line and there's actually a zipper on the side, which any girl can appreciate. And on top of that, how cute is this little split here? I find that it was really, really cute. And I decided to pair up this dress with this moto jacket because it was super cute. Honestly, I'm obsessed with moto jackets. I cannot own too many of them. I believe there's at least three pockets. There's a pocket here and they're full pockets as well. And I really like the buttons that they added for some detail as well in the collar. There's a lot of detail going on in the back, the way that it's styled, the way that it's cut. I like my moto jackets to fit me pretty well. They have to be fitted but not too tight. Here in Canada, you could probably only pull this off in the springtime or on a warm winter day with a sweater underneath. This is for my day one. Don't forget the ones I made ya. Deep south sweating out flavor. This is for my day one, day one. I have been looking for the perfect crop cardigan and Abercrombie literally did it this time for me. When I saw this crop cardigan, I fell in love immediately. It's textured, it's like a cream color. And honestly, the fabric is super thick and it's textured. And I like the detail of the collar and the detail goes all the way around. Yes, this is in an extra small. I believe it did come in double extra small, but I think they ran out of the double extra small, which is why I got the extra small. But it fits me like a glove and I like it. It makes me feel super sexy. And here you can see that there's actually an elastic around the wrist. So it makes it look like the sleeves are more of like a bubble puff sleeve. I don't think that it's meant to look fitted. I think it's meant to look loose on you. You can wear it off the shoulder, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with skirt. And that's exactly what I did. I purchased it with this floral printed skirt and it's so adorable. The skirt actually has yellow and cream florals on it and the base of the skirt itself is black. And you can easily, easily wear this in the summer with a different top, obviously, and some sandals, and looks super cute. Showed up, day one before the glow up. Don't need to ask for them to show love. 
listen, it's pretty rare that I buy dresses during the winter because I am actually afraid of the cold. But Abercrombie actually has some pretty cute dresses for the winter. And therefore, I decided to purchase this dress. I just wanted to see what it looked like. And to my surprise, it actually has a pretty thick, fuzzy type of material. It comes in this cream color and it's bound to keep you warm for sure. And it is a wraparound dress. And I thought it was super cute, the fact that it wrapped around your waistline. I got it in a size extra small. The only thing is I wish that this dress was a little bit more fitted at the bottom because it kind of comes out kind of like a bell shape. And that is definitely not my type of dress, but it definitely does look super cute. And I decided to pair it up with boots that were under the knee rather than over the knee. Over the knee would be what I would wear it with because, like I said, the cold and me don't really mix that well. But for the sake of the video and I wanted to show you the length and I wanted to really let the dress shine for itself, I decided to wear it with some under the knee boots, which it does look super cute. So for those of you that like the over the knee, I definitely see that working out. But for those of you that like under the knee, definitely see that working out as well. So suit yourself to style this however you like. This two-piece knitwear outfit is by far my favorite. I just like the way that it fits. Let me show you guys the skirt. I love the way that it fits. Again, it has a split elastic band at the waistline. The thickness is there, quality, seam. Everything looks amazing and the fit, it fits so nicely. It just fits to the shape of your body. The color, I don't own anything this color. So therefore, I'm always afraid of buying things this color because if I buy like the wrong rust orange color, it actually doesn't look good on me. But this one is definitely a keeper on me. Look at it. Oh, it's more like a red brick color, but it's not completely brick. There you go, that's the color, brick. The orange brick color sometimes depends on what tone it is. It does not look good on me at all. But this one was amazing. It was like perfect. And then the length of the skirt. Oh my goodness. The length of the skirt allows me to wear this with sneakers. I can go outside with this feeling comfortable. Not a lot of my skin is actually showing out. Child, I'm going to be wearing this. And then also to the top. I really like the top. It's a crop top, but with the two worn together along with the skirt, there's not a lot of space between the stomach area, which I find is more conservative and it's, it's actually still sexy, which I love. And I like the fact that it, 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 um, it almost crosses in the front, almost like an envelope type of V-neck line, but at the same time, it actually is, the V neckline, it's not like you can't open it. It's actually like enclosed. It's long sleeve. It has like this ripped type of detail on it. I don't know if you guys can see the lines, but it's really, really cute. There's an elastic band also too at the bottom of the crop top. You can wear um, a moto jacket on top of that. You can wear this with a teddy coat. You can wear it with heels. Just combined together, you can do different combinations of outfits with this, and you can wear this with a jean jacket. I love this. And this would actually be perfect for the springtime as well, so I'm definitely looking forward to rocking this during spring. Last but not least, another comfy outfit, something that I can wear with sneakers again. And this was actually pretty cute. So I decided to purchase this uh, sweater. I actually don't own a lot of these types of sweaters, believe it or not, um, especially zipped up sweaters. But this one I actually purchased it in a size extra small. Thickness, it's perfect, it's definitely there. I almost purchased this in a lilac, which I wish I did, uh, rather than the cream, because the lilac, the color of lilac on me, oh, so dreamy, 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 dreamy. Love it. Again, it has the detailed Abercrombie right here written on it. 
Um, and then also too, there are some strings that you can attach underneath your chin. There's a bunch of seaming details all over the sweater. Almost look like the sweater was cut up and then there are some seams to stop it from um, actually getting all fringy. And also too, there's an elastic band at the bottom. And if you were wondering, it is super stretchy. So I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this with jeans, uh, wearing this over top of different outfits. I also paired it up with a pair of white jeans, similar to how I saw it on the model, which I found was amazing. The jeans fit so well, you guys. It's high-waisted. And then there is a silk material lace front bodysuit with a snap button closure, which you ladies already know how much there is to appreciate about that. The straps are adjustable, but the only thing that I have to say about this bodysuit is the way that it fit me, I don't think that it fit me quite right. I mean, there is kind of like a closure in the front, and even if the closure is there for a specific purpose, I feel like it looked better when the closure was not there. Maybe perhaps if the closure button, like the little clasp that's there, it was a little bit lower, it might look a little better on me. But for me, I think I will pass on this one because I just didn't like the way that it looked in the front. But perhaps it might look good on somebody else. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe let me know if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up I definitely put a comment down below and I'm hoping to see you guys next time with some more videos I'll see you soon bye